A couple of trailers for the remake of Silent Hill 2 dropped recently. This game is creeping back into our lives, and while there's a lot to be excited about, there are also a few things to have me scratching my head. So let's take a look at what got me cautiously optimistic, and what's got me raising an eyebrow. First off, let's talk about atmosphere. The trailer does a solid job capturing the oppressive, foggy gloom that made the original Silent Hill 2 so iconic. The thick, suffocating fog is back in full force, making the open streets of Silent Hill feel just as claustrophobic as ever. Previous attempts, like the Xbox release and the HD remasters, missed the mark on this, making the world too visible and killing the eerie vibe. But this time around, the fog's looking glorious and thick, shrouding everything in that classic Silent Hill dread. The world itself feels lived in and detailed. Sure, it may not scream current gen, but the environmental clutter and dirty surfaces do give it a gritty, unsettling feel. Those reflections in the puddles? Nice touch. Inside, the detail ramps up even more. The interiors are ramshackled and abandoned with natural looking and spooky lighting. However, some of the darker areas don't look quite as menacingly dark as I had hoped for in a horror game. As far as the environment goes, I approve. The monsters are back, and they're just as freaky as ever. We get a glimpse at all the familiar faces. Lying figures, bobblehead nurses, abstract daddy, flesh lip, and of course, pyramid head. The animations look a bit janky, but honestly, that kind of works for their distorted horror. They're not supposed to move gracefully. They're twisted and unnatural, and the trailer nails that vibe. Now, on to the characters. James actually looks pretty good. Bloober Team seems to have taken the feedback to heart and remodeled him to look closer to his PS2 original, less of that awkward despair face we saw earlier. He's younger, his expression's more grounded. Solid work there. But then, we slide downhill. Lara's model is fine, mostly. She's detailed, but occasionally dips into the uncanny valley, which is awkward since she's not meant to be a scary character. We want sympathy, not shivers. Angela is where things get murkier. Her look varies across different scenes in the trailer. Some shots, she seems flatly lit and lacking detail compared to James. I'll give them props for making her look younger, around 18 or 19, than she's supposed to be, rather than the original portrayal. But overall, she doesn't look particularly attractive. But let's not forget, Angela isn't meant to be an attractive character. She's damaged and on a pathway to ending herself. We're supposed to sympathize with her as well, but not be attracted to her. Then there's Maria. Oh boy, Maria. Maria is designed to be sexualized. A provocative counterpart to Mary, meant to tempt and torment James. But modern sensibility seems to have fucked this up. She's less overtly sexualized now, with a more modest outfit. While her color scheme and basic design nod to the original, her exposed midriff is gone. She is dressed less like a hottie and more like a stereotypical rom-com character. Maria's provocative appearance is key to her role in the story. It's about tempting James about his psychological torment. By dialing down her sexualized look, the remake risks missing a crucial aspect of her character. With the release just a few months away, a significant redesign seems unlikely but without it, her impact could be diminished. As far as character design goes, I... I disapprove. We do see combat, but since I can't play, it'll hold off my judgment. What's shown doesn't look bad, but I'm not going to speculate on gameplay I haven't played yet. Overall, I'm cautiously optimistic. There's a chance this remake could miss the mark, especially compared to the recent stellar Resident Evil remakes. I'm hoping the character design issues don't hint at deeper misunderstandings of the game's themes. Will this be a faithful remake, or a swing and a miss? I'm not placing my bets yet. That's all I got. What do you think?